Okay guys, everyone be aware, the car's ready to go. wings damaged expects a lot of understeer unless we replace it okay no issues with tire wear for now keep taking care of them Radar is clear, weather is looking good for now. Okay, dry seem like the best tyre for now. Understood, stopping this lap. You're in first position, front of the pack. And just behind us are Bottas, Zhu and Verstappen. The fastest lap at this point in time is a 1 minute 36.8. We don't have the data for that, I'm afraid. Ocon ahead. Okay, their best lap time so far is a 
had to spend time repairing the damage to the car. Standing by. Okay, just two laps of fuel remaining now. That's five minutes to go. You're leading the pack, that's P1. And we're in front of Leclerc, Verstappen and Norris. Currently the fastest lap is at 1 minute 33.9. Sorry, we can't provide you with that information right now. No tyre concerns at the moment, just focus on the driving. We're seeing major front wing damage. Box, box, box. Okay, no issues with tyre wear for now. Keep taking care of them.
all ready for tomorrow's race, but before we begin, let's have a quick look at those who'll be fronting the grid. Maldonado, Perez, and George Russell. Well, that wraps up qualifying, but don't worry, we'll be back tomorrow as we head into the Grand Prix. Good morning, good afternoon, or for us, good evening, as we're under the night lights of Jeddah. The floodlights are on and so is the pressure here at the Saudi Arabian Grand Prix. So let's take a look at the topographical map of the Jeddah Street Circuit. As you can see, a number of challenging corners for the drivers to master here. We'll see just how much the teams have benefited from their time spent in practice this weekend. And like many street circuits, this track has the potential to punish drivers that get it wrong. Let's hope we avoid any safety cars today. It's time to take a look at our starting grid for today's race. Pastor Maldonado lines up on pole position, edging out Sergio Perez, who lines up P2. Considering the rest of the grid, we have Russell, Surfer Girl, Hamilton, Leclerc, Verstappen, Fernando Alonso, Sainz, Ocon, Hulkenberg, Stroll, Norris, De Vries, Magnussen, Joe, Sonoda, Bottas, Oscar Piastri, Sargent, Albon, Sargent. With preparations almost complete, let's head down to the track. And I'm delighted, as always, to introduce Anthony Davidson, who'll be taking you through all the action alongside me today, and Pastor Maldonado. Well, it was a really impressive lap in qualifying to get pole position, but are they going to be able to hold on to the lead into the first corner with so many quick starters around them? Besides that, of course, any kind of turn one incident could completely turn the race on its head. Let's keep our fingers crossed everyone can get through in one piece.
okay, the underbody's taken some damage. You might start to notice it soon. Remember your teammates. VSC deployed. The virtual safety car has been deployed. We need to keep a positive delta here. Slow down and maintain a positive delta. It looks like a virtual safety car has been deployed due to an incident with multiple vehicles being stopped on the track. We need you to drop your pace. dropped out of this race. Virtual safety car is ending. Maintain your pace until we get the green flags. VSC ending. Wait for the greens. There's serious damage to the underbody. Repeat, serious damage to the underbody. Green flag. Got a lot of spare energy. Okay to use your overtake button. damage to the underbody. Repeat, serious damage to the underbody.
copy that. Hards next time we box. Okay, one stop to go, just one stop left in this strategy, and that's six laps until your pit window's open. Okay, it looks like the problem's terminal. They're retiring the car. Positive delta here, slow down and maintain a positive delta. Okay, the virtual safety car has been deployed. Slow down and maintain a positive delta. There's been an incident resulting in a high level of debris on the track. Be back into the race perfect job from you and the crew there mate we're delighted with that okay one stop to go just one stop left in this strategy have taken damage. Keep an eye on your engine temperatures. Cooling may be adversely affected.
safety car in this lap, safety car in this lap. Let's make sure those tyres are up to temperature and remember there's no overtaking until the timing line. Stay in position until the green flags. Got to give that position back, mate. We're under safety car conditions and you can't overtake. Return the position. Take button more, it's time to utilize some of this energy. Come on. Side pods have taken damage. Keep an eye on your engine temperatures. Cooling may be adversely affected. Okay, listen, don't worry about it, mate. It can happen to the best of us. Now look, I've put a new strategy option for you in the MFD, so go and have a look. Got that, confirmed. Okay, gaps of the car ahead is 2.8. 
seconds a lap. Really good stuff. Past here, use overtake, use overtake.
tyre concerns at the moment, just focus on the driving. Battery charge is high, let's use that overtake button a bit more.
is probably dropping due to wear, so don't be too aggressive. is probably dropping due to wear, so don't be too aggressive. You're in first position, front of the pack. That's Hamilton behind. Our gap behind is 1.0 seconds. Okay, they're on old hard tyres. The pit window is open, pit window currently open. Come on, just three laps to go, three laps. Okay to use your overtake button. Okay, this is your final lap, the final lap of the race. No threat of rain for the time being, conditions look good. Drys definitely seem like the fastest tyre at the moment. Hamilton's behind you now. Okay, the gap behind is 1.3 seconds. Okay, they're on old hard tyres. Their tyres are 16 laps old. And the time last lap was a 140.5. Superb driving! 
That is the race win, my friends. Well done. A sterling effort from the team and a magnificent drive to secure victory here at the Saudi Arabian Grand Prix. Anthony Davidson, what helped them deliver this result, do you think? Well, time management probably played quite a large role in the outcome of this one. As ever, it's not just about speed, it's all about maintaining that speed consistently over a stint, over a race distance. So being able to keep up the lap times while still being smooth on the controls and gentle on the tyres, that's really where the race was won today. A show-stopping performance from the three drivers approaching the podium right now. It's been an interesting Grand Prix, that's for sure. Let's have a quick look at how the driver's standings have changed. Surfer Girl increases their championship lead. Well, after an incredible day of racing, who was your driver of the day, Ant? Max Verstappen seemed to just effortlessly weave through the other drivers today without a care in the world. He was definitely my driver of choice. Let's move on to the constructors. The owner driver's team moved to the top of the table. There was also a strong showing from the Mercedes team today as they make their way up the standings. After an event like that, who knows what the sport has in store for us next time out. Be sure to join us once again as we continue to bring you all the excitement of Formula One.